Wealthy owners looking for handouts to build a new stadium always tell us the same lie. It's not a stadium. It's more than just a stadium. It's a project, an entertainment complex. In Los Angeles. It's an aspirational new destination for Southern Californians. In Detroit. Mixed use private development district buildings. In St. Louis. Ballpark Village is a multi-phase master plan uh, sport tanker development. In other words, it's not a stadium for me. It's an economic dynamo for you. Just one problem. There are very, very few things that you can get essentially all economists to agree with. And one of those very few things is that stadiums are not major drivers of economic activity. The total number of full-time year-round jobs generated by an NFL team is roughly the same number of full-time year-round jobs generated by a typical Walmart store. But at least you can go to Walmart every day. Last year, San Diego only hosted 10 NFL games and four major concerts. Chargers owner Dean Spanos doesn't care. Spanos wants taxpayers to cover $1.15 billion for his new Charger stadium. This is not a stadium just for the Chargers. This is, this to me is a regional asset. A regional asset? You mean like the San Diego Zoo? Or the Pacific Ocean, which is free? Spanos is brainwashing the public to vote yes on ballot measure C. He's using the same blueprint he used for last year's 4-12 Chargers season. Bad offense, bad defense, bad special teams. His offense, it's free. This project would not impose any new taxes on San Diego citizens. No new taxes? Tell me more. Instead, it would be paid for by tourists, convention goers, and out-of-town business people staying in local hotels. And what could be sweeter than Raiders, Broncos, and Patriot fans all helping pay for the project when they pay their hotel bill? Wait, I'm a Patriots fan. I'm not paying for this shit. And also, San Diego, guess what? You're not Las Vegas. You have 100,000 fewer hotel rooms. Should you really wager on out-of-towners being able to pay for your stadium? It's a terrible economic argument. The vast majority of people who attend games and spend money in local sports bars or restaurants are local San Diego residents who would be spending that money elsewhere in the economy. Plus, this plan already failed in the far-off city of San Diego. Remember when the Padres Stadium was advertised as being tax-free? Well, as soon as California's economy turned, San Diego taxpayers got stuck paying out a bill of $271 million. Why don't you sum that up for us, Ron Burgundy? Go fuck yourself, San Diego. So Spanos' offense failed. Defensively, he rolled out an aggressive multimedia ad campaign. Let's build something special for future generations. He got local guys on board. Professional sports matter. Uh, just like arts and culture, a variety of other civic and cultural activities that we have. You got some national guys on board too. I love what they're selling, and I just think San Diego's got a decision to make. If you want to be a big time city, I think you got to hold on to these teams, and once they leave, they're not coming back. And if anyone objects, well, you got to do what you got to do. I took the time to read the initiative, saw how bad it was and wanted to have a conversation with the organization. Instead of taking a meeting with me, they've decided to attack me and place my phone number all over social media to get the fans to attack me as well. And you thought only Rob Kardashian did that. What do you do when all else fails when you're stealing from the locals? You just make up a totally new word. The Convadium. The Convadium. Convadium, a stadium and a convention center. Convadium? What the fuck is that? That sounds like a pill I'd take before I lay in adjoining bathtubs with my wife. That sounds like something Lex Luthor would use to poison Superman. <sighs> ah, amazingly, the Spanos campaign seems to be kind of working. We need the new stadium. I mean, whatever it takes to keep the Chargers here. I think it would definitely benefit the everything about San Diego and the economy and all of that. It's been heartwarming to see how many people have embraced our vision for downtown. Oh no! They've been poisoned by Convadium! Come on, San Diego, don't fall for this shit. You go to the polls soon. Make history by standing up to a spoiled rich guy. Nah, not that spoiled rich guy. This spoiled rich guy. Besides, who are you going to trust? The creator of Convadium? Do you expect that you will try to remain in San Diego? You know, we do have some options, so... Uh... Or a native son who's given more prestige to San Diego than every single Charger combined. Hey, I'm San Diego native Tony Hawk. 
I've seen a lot of things in my 82 years of being a professional skateboarder. Heel flip slob air, shove it fakey feeble grind, even a laser flip big spin sex change. But you know what I've never seen? A conveidium. It's not a real thing. And things that aren't real aren't worth over a billion dollars. I love the Chargers, but if they go, we still have the beach, the zoo, Blink-182, Mexico, the sunshine, Nick Cannon, Comic-Con, and me, Tony Hawk. And I'm probably gonna live for like 200 years. So on November 8th, vote no on the Comedium. It's not a real thing. I'm Tony Hawk, and I approve this message.